This is brutal footage showing a small, cheap Ukrainian FPV drone wiping out three Russian soldiers roaming around in the open with no cover. The video showed that the targeted troops detected the incoming threat, but their actions were delayed. They try to find cover, but the device explodes between them, and the three are wiped out in seconds. Other brutal footage also shows a Russian infantry soldier standing in the open when he is suddenly attacked by a remote-controlled drone filled with explosives. The targeted soldier detected the incoming ammunition, but was too late, and the explosive device sent a deadly blast towards the soldier. Yes, as in the previous video, the Ukrainian FPV drone also managed to bring down the soldier and only left his name on the list of Russian soldiers. An impressive demonstration of the drone operator's capabilities and skills is also demonstrated in this video, which shows the FPV bomb drone carefully navigating a maze of bushes and penetrating a Russian underground bunker before exploding. Most bush structures appear to have been deliberately placed around the dugout entrance to prevent wandering ammunition. However, once again the Russian army's efforts failed, the bunker containing the soldiers inside was immediately blown up with just one touch. We are witnessing, in real time, a massive technological shift leading to war at the soldier level. Please note that the drone was controlled by members of Ukraine's 82nd Air Assault Brigade. This was also one of the tense moments when Russian troops abandoned their tanks on the battlefield after a targeted attack by Ukrainian kamikaze drones. Drone footage from Ukraine's 72nd Separate Motor Rifle Brigade shows a Russian tank equipped with a containment cage moving towards Ukrainian positions in the Donetsk region. The Ukrainian FPV drone then flew towards the Russian tank and managed to land behind it the impact paralyzing the Russian tank. As the smoke clears, we can see Russian troops exiting the tanks and fleeing to avoid further attacks. However, Ukrainian troops deployed more FPV drones which succeeded in destroying Russian tanks and troops there. Another chilling video also shows Russian frontline fighting positions falling apart when Ukrainian drones start dropping explosives. Initially, a Russian soldier was seen walking casually towards his hiding position. However, above his head, he could hear the sound of drones, but he was unsure of their exact location or the seriousness of the threat. He stood casually under the protection of some kind of blanket and hoped the drone would go away. Instead, the drone operator dropped a grenade that exploded very close to the Russian soldier. He called for help, but his comrades would not leave their positions. Finally, he got up of his own accord and ran into the ditch. The drone operator then saw several fuel jugs lying near the ditch and dropped ammunition. Petroleum products caught fire, causing fuel to burn several meters in all directions and causing fires in various nearby fighting positions. Russian forces also attempted nighttime infiltrations of Ukrainian positions that were easily detected by thermal-capable drones. Drones then hovered above and started dropping grenades. The drone then systematically begins to take out each enemy soldier, one by one. Some Russians fled while others hid, but their fate remained the same. Over the past 24 hours, 56 battles took place on the front lines. In the Novopavlivka sector, Russia, supported by air power, attempted to break through Ukrainian defenses 21 times without success. At the same time, Russia lost 810 troops, 19 tanks, 24 armored fighting vehicles, and 34 artillery systems, according to the trusted Ukrainian media outlet Espresso.
Meanwhile, EU member states on Wednesday agreed to add 5 billion euros, 5.5 billion dollars, to a central fund to pay for weapons sent to Ukraine. The move provided a welcome boost to Kyiv that has support from its other main backer. The United States wavered, and defeated forces struggled to contain Russia. Belgium, which holds the EU's rotating presidency, said ambassadors from the bloc's 27 countries had in principle agreed to a plan to support arms supplies to Kyiv by 2024 with 5 billion euros. After Moscow's invasion in 2022, the European Union agreed for the first time to fund arms shipments to a country at war. Since then, the country has committed 6.1 billion euros from its Central European Peace Facility, primarily to reimburse part of the costs of weapons sent by member states to Ukraine. A push to increase EU funding by 5 billion euros has been delayed for months amid a dispute between Germany and France. Berlin insists its bilateral support for Ukraine must be matched by its contribution and Paris demands that only weapons produced in Europe should be reimbursed. The latest funding announcement for Ukraine comes as Kyiv's troops are under pressure on the front line in the face of ammunition shortages. Warnings are growing in Europe that failure to maintain support for Kyiv could result in the country being defeated and the emboldened Kremlin attacking other countries. The EU is trying to increase the production of weapons and ammunition through its defense industry, but two years after the war, the EU is still having difficulty increasing production. The bloc is not expected to fulfill a promise made last year to supply 1 million artillery shells to Ukraine this month. The Czech Republic is also spearheading an 18-country coalition to buy artillery shells from outside Europe, and this month, Prague pledged to start shipping the first 300,000 shells to Kyiv within weeks. Meanwhile, Russia has increased its weapons production by putting its economy on a war footing and has received large arms shipments from Iran and North Korea.